Hear the birds, you ready? He's going to go out for like a boy's lunch and beers. Good morning guys. I was just saying to Kurt, I was like, I used to do this every single morning. Some of you guys, some of my OGs might remember. I would get up every single morning, like whether it was winter, whether it was summer, I would let the kids watch TV and I'd come sit out here for like five minutes and drink my morning coffee. And it was like the best part of my day. I don't know why I ever stopped doing it. No, me walking through the door in the afternoon. You walking through the door in the afternoon, that was the best part of my day too. But it's so funny how you have like these little parts of your day that just like make you so happy and bring you so much joy. And then when life gets busy, you just like slowly stop doing like one little thing, the other little thing. And it's so simple. Like the kids, both Miller and Linky are literally got the door open so we can hear them, but they're laying upstairs in our bed watching their iPads. It's so cute. They come up this morning like, can we lay in your bed? Your bed's so comfy. They love our bed. Miller yesterday, and she was laying up there with me and she was like, I thought I was in my bed for a second, but then I remembered your bed's so much comfier than mine. So anyways, yeah, I used to honestly look forward to this part of the day so much. And yeah, I would do it in winter, babe. I would come out here like rugged up, like my trackies, long sleeve shirt, jumper. Cause I go for a walk every morning anyway. And then I come sit out here first while the littlest one was usually still asleep. So it would be like Link would have been when Riga was a newborn or when Linky was younger, I'd do it with Miller too. And then, you know, like 50% of mornings I'd have the kids come out here with me and I'd just go, okay, you guys explore around the yard, see if you can find some snails or bugs and mummy's going to sit here for five minutes and just drink her coffee. And I remember I used to do that every single day and it was so nice. Well, you can do that again if you like. Yeah, you should start doing it with me. It's very nice. Who am I? Last night before I jumped in a shower, lit myself a candle. It's just, and I lit it for you too, because I was like, you're gonna jump in after me. It'd be nice to have a candle lit. Turned off all the lights upstairs, lit a candle, had a shower just with the candle light. And then I had the relaxation music playing yesterday in the background, just in my zen zone. I love it. I feel like, yeah, I'm enjoying just the little things at the moment like that, like sitting down outside, having a coffee, listening to relaxation music. Like they're all the things. All the little things you can do in each day to just calm your farm a bit. Why are you smiling at? <laughs> Where's your mind going? It's sweet. Yeah, it was so rainy and windy yesterday. Oh. There's like your pool, babe. Your was, pool, it was so clean. Do you know it was the cleanest it was ever it's been? Because me and Miller spent an hour with the vacuum, mm -hmm. like swimming down with our goggles, sucking up everything. <laughs> I'll do that. It's only it's a piece, isn't it? Yeah, this is like the floor. There's just stuff all over it. And in the pool. It's just annoying when it's because if you don't get on top of it, because then the wind will come up today, blah blah blah. I know. Kurt had one request for me with my book, guys. This is the funniest thing. Actually, I haven't done it yet. Kurt's like, I have one request for your book. You need to mention somewhere about how clean my pool is. <laughs> oh, so funny. When your mind is foggy and it wants to be clear, you look out and you always know that something's clear. Oh my gosh. It's so funny. If it's not the sky, it'll be the pool. <laughs> 
I've kind of had a bit of a pause on the book, haven't I? It's been good though. I've needed to, I think, for my mental health. Yeah, I need to have a pause on it. Yeah, well, Kurt's been obviously <laughs> proofreading it all for me. Because where it's at right now, yeah, I think I'm going to... It's so, it's so... One of those things, guys, like, I've written up to... What am I up to? Chapter 20. And I want to rewrite the whole thing. I do. It's just such a fine line of, like, being vulnerable. And then also protecting your own energy on how much you share um and it's like i've really been like going back and forth on but i think what i'm going to do is like write it out exactly how i want to write it and then just like duplicate the book and then like rewrite it and make it a bit different yeah. sounds like a lot of work Do it does i know it's gonna take me ages there is no rush at all and that's the best part about it but i need to also be held accountable to like keep plotting at it because it is one of those things that's like very confronting and i feel like it's an easy thing for you to just be like okay see you later i'm not gonna do that <laughs> Like it definitely is one of those things, but I want to make sure I I hate starting something and not finishing it. Gonna go for a walk? Yeah, definitely. All right. Oh, look at the sun coming through. It's gonna be so nice here in a minute. Oh, welcome to my life this week. I've literally done like no exercise this week, guys. I've been busy, but I've been busy. Like work's just been really busy. I feel like honestly, just until Millie goes back to school, it's just hard for me to have a structured exercise routine. Like yeah, until. Get up at four and unless you get up before, it's exactly right. And I've been doing that so I can work and then watch her throughout the day so then you can get work done. Cause you've been getting up at four, going to the gym. So I'm like, I'll get up at that time, do as much work as I can. And then I can play with her when you're, you know, going to work. It's one more week guys. So close for school holidays being over. We should make this a series. How good would this be for a video? You guys are probably like, no, don't do it. <laughs> like one video, I don't know, a fortnight or a month or a week and just be like coffee chats with Karen Kurt. Do you remember how I used to do coffee chat Tuesday? Do you remember how I used to do that? And I'd just sit down in the morning and just chat about life, chat about things. Oh my gosh, we should bring the Coffee Chat Tuesday back. Except I don't vlog on a Tuesday anymore. No. Coffee Chat Friday. You don't want to? Um, no. <laughs> Alright. All right. Well, I'll just stick to my vlogs then. I kind of just have a little coffee chat every yeah. vlog anyway. I really do. Here's the birds. You ready? Sounds like a horse or something. No, a donkey. The black oh, that is like the black cockatoo. What about the one that goes like, I can't even whistle? <laughs> like, it's like, I can't whistle. Like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, it says to me all the time, I was like, Mum, you whistle. I'm like, good Yeah, it's good at whistling. Oh. So you need that once you get to make the girls go fast. Oh my gosh. I'll have another coffee. Should we make a takeaway one for our mm. walk? Yeah? This was a really nice coffee. Yeah, I know. You should definitely do that one. You want me to make it? <laughs> Alright. It's nearly seven, guys. Who are we? This is like a late morning for us. I love this on the weekends, but... Just get up late. This has kind of become our ritual. Chill out on the Saturday and Sunday morning. I'm here for it. It's so good. Enrique, you're still asleep, though. Well, I'm going to get dressed and ready. Head off for a walk. Get some exercise in, get the kids out in the fresh air. Hey, you know how I said it's gonna get like beautiful out here in a second? This, guys, this is like my favorite part of the day. Sun is just peeking through. Oh my gosh. Good morning, my sweeties. Good morning. <laughs> Bed nice and comfy? Wait, mm -hmm. just wait for me, okay? I'm not there yet. Just stay there, okay? Mace is up here with you too. <laughs> you gonna go for a walk? What? <laughs> You're not sure about the animals, are you, Link? No. No. I'm going on the other side. Is Link. It? Is that book? Is that the book that mm. tells you what to read? Mm. Oh, oh kitties come on over for some love. You guys want to go for a walk this morning? You big eye. You what? Big eye. What's oh, that? My horse. He says you big eye. I don't I think he didn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I thought you said you big egg. <laughs> big eye, he says on them. You're a big eye. What's a big eye? It's this. Link, don't kick. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mace is like, help me, mum. Keith, nicely. You like the calm, Mace, don't you? Don't. All right, time to get dressed and ready. Come on, big A. Come on, big A.
Mommy Cousins. <laughs> Come here! Come here! <laughs> healthy picnic later this afternoon. Yeah. yeah. I like to put only we can put all food. our favourite things on it and mum and dad could try trying them. Yeah. Macy, what have you got? You have my thong every time we walk in. Yeah. Hey kitty. The kids are just out at the cubby house. I'm just quickly getting dressed. I think I'm going to make Cody and I some breakfast and then we might go take the kids in the pool because it is so warm today, but it's pretty windy. It's probably too windy for the beach. Finding these shorts. But I started a new book, not yesterday, the day before. I decided to have a change of author. I've been reading so many of Colleen Hoover books, as you guys know. Um, and then I saw heaps of good reviews on this one here, which is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm really enjoying it for something different. So this one is basically a closed case with an A-grade student who won't let it go. So she's got a assignment to do for school and hers is about this murder that happened years five years ago and just bits and pieces just aren't adding up so she's going back and trying to basically solve the case and it's really hard for her to gain information she's like re-interviewing people it's really really interesting but i am one of those girls as well who like loves a good mystery murder so i started two days ago i'm literally halfway through it's a pretty long book it's got 50 chapters from memory yeah i'm really enjoying it it's a really nice like light read the only thing that like some people might not like is it's like in school time um but i actually don't mind it so yeah that's what i'm currently reading at the moment and there's three books to this so i'll probably stick to um, these and try to read all three books. But I don't really know any other good like mystery murder books. I was one of those people who was like obsessed with Pretty Little Liars. So I had a few people say to me, I feel like you'd really like this. But if you guys have any other recommendations on something like this for me to go on to as well for something a bit different, because I am really enjoying it, let me know. Not too scary, not too spooky, but like kind of lighthearted mystery murder. I definitely enjoy. But anyways, I'm gonna go have a look and see what I can make us for brekkie. I'm feeling a little bit lazy this morning. So I'm like, do I cook us eggs? Yes, probably should do like some nice eggs with veggies inside. But then I'm kind of like, do we just do wheat bix? <laughs> so it's nice and easy. We've been doing that a bit, having good old wheat bix when we're trying to make something nice and quick and easy. I might ask Kurt. Hey, hon, do you want wheat bix or do you want eggs? Oh, I could probably just have three wheat bix. Wheat bix. Yeah. Nice, just with sugar. Yeah, thanks. Beautiful. Got yeah, that one pretty easy, didn't you? I know. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> By the way, this is a new top from Love Ellis Rose. I don't know if it's out yet or not. I really love it. Kurt is also gonna be heading out in the next couple of hours. He's gonna go out for like a boy's lunch and beers. I don't know when it's going to end. I said to him, I have no expectations. Like he doesn't know whether it's just gonna be like a boy's lunch or whether he's gonna be not home until tonight or if they're all gonna come back here. I was like, I don't mind if they come back here, totally fine. Um, so yeah, he's gonna be going in the next couple of hours. So I'll be hanging out home with the kitties. I've got a bit of work to do while Reggie girl naps, but I'm also gonna try to sit down for like even half an hour and read some more of my book. Guys, I feel like, I know I've said it before, 
but reading has just been such a great way for me to slow down my nervous system and just sit still. And when you're reading as well, you can't really sit down and do anything else. Like you really have to kind of like commit yourself to like being in the zone. And yeah, I just feel like it's been so amazing for me. Yeah. Oh, you scared me. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, you can do the ball. Yeah, it's all right. Do you want to do it at the front too? Yeah, okay. Kurt blowing the leaves can't help himself after this morning with all that wind and rain yesterday. That is honestly the best Father's Day present I've ever bought him. Speaking of presents too, Kurt's Dirty 30 is coming up, guys. So we're thinking that we might go away for a night. Should be so good. It is just me and the kitties at home. I have just put Riggy Girl down for her nap and Miller and Linky are doing some coloring in downstairs, just having some nice quiet time. I am going to read my book for the next half an hour, take some time out for myself, and then I'm gonna take Miller and Linky probably into the pool for a little bit or out in the cubby house and just bring Riggy's monitor out with me. And I might even play guitar while I'm out there. Miller and Lincoln like absolutely love playing guitar with me or like singing along while I'm playing. So they're usually they're like, mom, grab your guitar. So I might do that this Arvo too, but just a nice chilled out Arvo at home with the kids. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon.